Now every machine needs a tool that actually cuts the material. And because Daytron is not only a manufacturer and developer of a machine and the control system, we develop our own tools, especially for the machines. They can also be used on other machines, but I would say that most of the tools are like a perfect fit for our machines. In this case, I have a single fluid end mill, which is balanced. So the center of gravity is quite in the middle. This is, the single fluid end mill is a, a very important factor when it comes to cutting uh, aluminum, non-ferrous um, metals and so on, because we have kind of a great and big chip channel, which means the expanding aluminum during the cut can evacuate quickly the coolant, the alcohol spray, can reach the tip of the fluid or the cutting edge itself. And at the same time, we can move at a very high feed rate and um, just make sure that the, that the chip channel and the tool is not getting stuck. So we have, don't have a build up uh, fluid, no like interruption during our milling process. Further to this, we also have like double fluid end mills when it comes to larger diameters up to like 10 or 12 millimeter um, you get actually more uh, like better round off when you run at a very high RPM with double fluid end mills we get um, a monoblock tool face milling tool with cutting inserts uh, diameter 20 for HSK E25 and diameter 24 for HSK E32 uh, which we have at the 8 kilowatt spindle. There's also a thread milling tool. So we do like a helical movement for thread milling. Um, there's also a great online workshop um, that's definitely worth to watch uh, where we um, talk a lot about thread milling. We also have a um, radius tool as a single flute end mill. So a ball nose basically. So all kinds of tools between a diameter of 0.3 millimeter up to 10 or even 12 on the 8 kilowatt. That's the range. So we're going down to even less than a millimeter. Uh, we can easily do that with the alcohol spray, with the coolant and the high RPM of the machine. If you need a tool which is not a standard one, which we don't have, there's also a possibility that we kind of grind your own tool that you need for a special application. So let's just say you need a certain flute length, you need a certain diameter, um, that can all be done. That's definitely worth to discuss. Now let's just see how all of these tools work on the machine. I got a sample program which I'm gonna run on the MX Cube now, uh, where, we do, where we do a dynamic roughing operation with the single flute end mill. We do some helical milling for um, the core hole of a thread. We do thread milling and chamfering. 